Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide, I'll explain how to add an Outlook email account to Gmail so you can check and review all your emails in a single inbox. Let's get straight into it. If you have an Outlook email account, Gmail provides an easy way for you to see any new emails you receive in Outlook in your existing Gmail account. In this Woggle Guide, we're going to look at how to add that Outlook email account to your Gmail account. We'll do this in three separate sections of the guide. Firstly, we'll look at the method you can use to link an Outlook account to Gmail. Then I'll explain how to use the more common quick linking method known as Gmailify. And lastly, we'll look at how to identify and highlight those emails from Outlook within your Gmail inbox with a special label. I'm logged into Google and I'm in my Gmail inbox. To add another email account to Gmail, I need to click into the settings section of Gmail. I can do this by moving my mouse to the top right of the inbox. And you'll see there are a number of icons in this area. The one I'm interested in, however, is the gear or cog icon. Let's click on that. This opens up Gmail's quick settings, which allows you to make some of the more common setting changes. However, I want to go into the detail settings section of Gmail. So I'll click on the option button that says see all settings. This opens a new page that has a number of headings tabs. We're interested in the account and import section, however. So I'll click into that. I'm going to move down this page a little to the area called check mail from other accounts. By adding an Outlook email address in this section, this will allow us to import both old and new emails from your Outlook email account so they can be viewed alongside your Gmail account. To start the steps to add your Outlook email address, click on the Add a Mail Account link. A new window then opens that asks you to enter the email address for your Outlook email account. Let's quickly enter that now. As you continue, we'll click on the Next button. Another window then opens. Gmail offers you two ways to link your Outlook account with Gmail. You can use a quick setup process called Gmailify, or you can manually configure and import the emails. For the rest of this guide, I'll explain how to link your Outlook account to Gmail using the more common Gmailify process. But if you're interested in the alternative linking method, check out the Woggle guide shown above. Let's now move on to step two, where we'll set up a view of your Outlook email in your Gmail inbox. So we're still on the page where we want to choose how to link the webmail account with Gmail. The Gmailify option is already selected, so I'll click on the next button to continue. So because I entered my Outlook email address at the start of the process, we are now shown a login page, which asks you to confirm your password for the Outlook account. You'll see that the email address I entered is pre-populated. Let's now enter the password for the Outlook email account. And again, I'll click the next button to proceed. It can take a little time to complete the integration, but once done, Gmail then confirms that your Outlook account has been Gmailified. Click the close button to show your settings page. On the settings page, in the accounts and import section, you'll now find that the Outlook account has been added. Emails sent to your Outlook account will now automatically also appear in your Gmail inbox. If we go into your Gmail inbox, an email has arrived from the Outlook email team confirming that Gmail now has access to your Outlook account. You'll notice, however, that this email doesn't look any different from the other emails sent to your Gmail account. If we click into that email, and then click on the small drop-down arrow next to the email address at the top of the email, you can see that the mail was actually sent to the Outlook address originally. I'll now show you an easy way to highlight those emails which have come from Outlook. In order to do that, I'm going to start by highlighting the Outlook email address I use. And then if I right click on that, I'll choose to copy that email address. If you can type your Outlook email address from memory, there's no need to do this step. I now want to go into the search filter in Gmail. I can do that by clicking on the search options icon next to the Gmail search bar. If you want to learn how to use filters in Gmail, see the Woggle guide link in the description below. However, I'll go through the basics of what you need to know now in this guide. We're interested in the To rule on this page. This asks Gmail to search specifically for emails sent to a specific email address that arrive in your Gmail inbox. We want to find emails that are sent to our Outlook account. So I'm going to click into that rule and I'll paste the Outlook email address I use by right clicking on it and choosing the paste option. 
You can also type this email address directly into the two box if you remember it. That's all we need to do in this window. So I'll move to the bottom of the page and click on the Create Filter button to move on. In this next window, Gmail asks us what we want to do with the email sent to your Outlook email address. Looking at the options, we definitely don't want to skip the inbox as we want to see the email arrive. So I'm going to choose the Apply the Label option and click the checkbox next to it. If you're not familiar with labels, this is a way to identify different emails in Gmail. Once I've done that, if I click on the drop down arrow next to Choose Label, I want to create a new label to describe these emails. So let's choose that option. A box then appears that asks you to give the new label a name. I'll call this label Outlook and I'll click on the large blue Create button to confirm that. Gmail then tells us that the Outlook label has been created and you'll see it is now the chosen label on this page. To ensure the label is applied to all existing email messages sent to Outlook that are in my inbox, I also want to click the checkbox next to the option that says Apply Filter to Matching Conversations. And to confirm our label setup, I'll click on the large blue Create Filter button. If we now return to the inbox, you'll see that the Outlook label has been added to all those messages sent to my Outlook account. I hope you find this waffle guide useful and learn something new. If you have, please like or subscribe so that other users can find it too. Thanks for watching.